What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to deep dive into a fragrance that I was very thrilled to have received. Uh, Parfums Mikalef and Mikalef sent this my way. I was quite excited when I heard about it and then I just fell in love with this one once I started spraying it. This is M. Mikalef. This is Gentonic and uh, yeah, it's not just a pretty bottle. Stay tuned. So the PR packaging is noteworthy. Look at how massive this is. All that for this bottle. So reason being, with the gin tonic theme as you see here, so the bottle actually, let me get it to where I can hold it, the bottle comes in this little drawer that's cut out for the bottle. So that is the only box <laughs> option for this. So you'll notice this particular bag here, you can see a gin and tonic in the background because that is the theme. It is a very fun, party fragrance but the scent profile we'll get to in a little bit so you do have an actual this is all functional stuff too the shaker then you have I didn't open all of them because I'm not necessarily going to use them all but the different tools and a strainer and all the all these different things that it comes with I guess I should open this to show you guys you know not that I've ever used any of this stuff before but it does come with it in an appropriate bag. This is all part of the PR packaging. It is something different. Now it's useless for me personally, but you know, it's still interesting nonetheless. But let's take a look at this bottle. So standard fare for this line for majority of their their fragrances. The bottle this time around though, it, it's frosted clear. It looks like an ice cube or a frosted martini glass in some ways with like lime juice in there, the color scheme. And then the black accents really set this thing off. The collar and cap with the black wording. And you have some info here on the sticker on the bottom. And you know, standard atomizer for them. Does a great job. I'm actually wearing it as my scent of the day as well. So let's get into the scent. So I can't help but give myself a spray on my arm. I have four sprays around the neck, just kind of a mild wearing today. Um, this is one that opens up super, super bright. Now, even though gin and tonic are not notes in this breakdown, it smells like gin and tonic. It really does that tonic water smell, very bright, crisp. This peppermint note plays a prominent role in this opening with the lime. There's other citrus here, but the lime is pretty dominant. Very crisp, minty, lime, fresh, watery type of feel. A little spiced, but very crisp. This is a very crisp fragrance at its top. As it settles, it gets woodsy and even a little watery. Um, maybe that's Lily of the Valley. I don't know. Maybe it's the musk playing a particular role. Um, it's a little creamy, but not dominated by sandalwood as it dries, but it does have an inherently woody facet to it. It's a pretty good balance of the other woods and the sandalwood to where it's not super creamy. But like I said, a light musky, soft woodsy, watery tone as it dries. So it's not a drastic change. It doesn't nuance heavily. It's pretty much two staged. You have that top and early stages of the fragrance. I would say that you get for about the first hour and a half to two hours. And then the remainder of the fragrance, which is basically the way the dry down develops into this watery, musky, woodsy tone. But I'll tell you what, the first two hours of this fragrance are magical. Now, niche enthusiasts may be a little bored by this because it is a freshie, but this is a fun freshie. This is a cocktail party type of fragrance. That is the theme to it. That is the scent they created. That is how the marketing and the packaging and the story was built. And I think it's executed perfectly for the story they're telling. The scent profile 100% nails the story and theme that they were going for. So I say kudos to them. Uh, the scent though is just it's so fun and lively and easygoing. And even though it's a cocktail party type of fragrance, this is a great everyday wear. Daytime, spring, summer, fall, for sure. Evenings out where it's not a serious event, maybe not a formal event, just a fun outing. This will really work for that as well because it does have the gin and tonic smell. Even though that's not the note breakdown, the way this was composed, the way these, these notes are blended together, it does create that accord. Lemon, lime, martini feel gin and tonic as you would expect it's just it's a great fun fragrance i love the way this smells now in terms of performance this is where people are gonna be like oh god it's it's weak i only get five or six hours 
that's what I get to. I get like five to seven hours is the sweet spot. I've clocked it as low as five. I've clocked it as high as seven before it becomes a faint skin scent. So I can't really say six to eight hours. I can't really say four to six because it kind of falls somewhere in between. So we're going to go a range of five to seven hours in longevity. Projection, pretty much average, uh, not overwhelmingly strong. Also, I haven't sprayed it heavier than like six or seven sprays. I think seven sprays is the heaviest I've sprayed. It was pretty strong according to my wife at seven sprays. So I would say slightly above average in the first hour. Pretty strong, very airy and super, super bright in the top. And then moving into that second hour, it calms down, arms reach type stuff. Hour and a half range, I think is the safe point for the overall projection and strength of this fragrance. And then the Siage is on the moderate to mild side. Like I said, it's not an overwhelming performing fragrance. Uh, if you're looking for an eight to 10 hour fragrance, maybe you will get it, I don't. So temper your expectations. And the reason I say that is because it's so light, airy and fresh, there is a dense backbone to it with these woods, amber, some musks, there's florals here. There's an engaging core to this fragrance that kind of, kind of give it a little bit of staying power. I think if it didn't have the base that it has, it probably would only be a three or four hour fragrance on my skin. I could potentially be going nose blind. You never know, but five to seven hours for a very fresh and fun and invitingly bright fragrance. I, I can't complain about that. I mean, just fragrances that have a similar level of freshness, even niche fragrances that you'll get like two to three hours out of. So again, I would sample this one blind by safe as far as the scent profile, but if you're concerned with performance, I would definitely say sample before you buy because across the board, it's pretty much average, slightly above average in some instances, but overall performance in all three markers, it's average. Final thoughts on M. Mikalef Gin Tonic. So I'm a big fan of this one. The, the packaging's great, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, you're not necessarily taking the bottle and walking around and saying, hey, look at this bottle. No, you're worried about the scent. Um, what's the wearing experience like? Obviously, most people are going to take into consideration other people's thoughts and feelings in the event that they say something about the fragrance. So this is super mass appealing. I think it's going to be hard to not like this. I think if anything, the people that don't like this and maybe deem it boring or kind of have a little bit of snobbery going on for them in some form or fashion, because if you just look at it for what it is, it smells incredible. It doesn't smell like a bunch of other things, but it does have a distinctive gin and tonic smell that has been done before, but I think the way this one was done, that peppermint is really what separates the top of this fragrance. That peppermint really just does magic to this opening of this fragrance. This is just so beautiful when you spray it, I'm telling you. The first two hours are magnificent. And for that, because the scent is so important to me, it gets a really high mark in the scent category of nine, which brings its overall grade up to an 8.5 great. Because I'll tell you, if this was like eight to 10 hours in longevity, this would be a 9.5 out of 10 fragrance easily for me. The longevity and projection being in the average range to slightly above average, I still do categorical scores. You guys just don't see it. I just show you guys the overall score, but the scent really steps outside and kind of raises the overall grade of this one because it just smells so good. It's an overall 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a great fragrance and it's an experience worth having. It's not a, a fragrance that I think everybody needs to rush out and get. I don't think it's like the greatest release that's going to come out this year, but for my taste and the things I like, I think it's definitely going to fall into the top 10 for my favorite releases of the year. I mean, where it stands right now, it's easily like the fifth or sixth best thing I've smelled this year. That's a new release at minimum. Uh, this is really good. This is great. Actually, that's why it gets an 8.5 out of 10. Well, once again, thank you so much, M. Mikalev, for sending this my way. Look, I was super happy with the last release, Red Colorado. That's fantastic. This is just so fun and so situationally and seasonally appropriate for the current in the heart of springtime that we are moving into summer. It was a great time to release this one, and I think it's a great fragrance. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you already gotten your nose on this? What do you think about it? It's a fun fragrance. If you want to save 10% and check it out, there's an affiliate link and a discount code down below. If you're interested, obviously, I make a small commission. If you use that link, it does help support the channel. Up to you. Do as you please. It's there for your convenience if you're interested. And until next time, we'll see if you get your hands on gin tonic. You give it a spray now. Really good chance you'll thank me later. If you have a similar taste to mine, you're going to dig this one. Have a good one, guys. Hey.